everybody, this is Warpex from Warcraft Free Place. I'm here to talk to you today about building a base as undead, Frostworm strategy, and a little bit of macro between. Uh, this is a undead versus orc replay. A lot of this replay is centered around the Blade Master and defending yourself against the Blade Master. How to do this is by blocking your base off so that so the Blade Master cannot walk through and even touch your acolytes. So to get things started here, we're going to watch this replay from Scut's view, and we're going to start this thing off at 10 seconds. So get the replay to 10 seconds. We're not going to do 2 minutes, most other audios do 2 minutes. We're starting at 10 seconds so we can actually analyze Scut's base, so we can understand what's going on, and so I can talk more, because I like to talk. Keep this at 1x speed, and turn fog, fog of War off. The reason why we're going on Scut's view is because there's a lot of Observer Chat, and it's kind of annoying. Alright, Scott is a great player from NST. We're talking a little about him. He plays Undead, of course. He does a great job. He's against Stop from VT. Stop's also very good, and also another audio commentator here at Worker Free Plays. You'll probably get pissed at me for uploading this replay. Probably not one of his better replays, but he's a great player, and he actually does not do a bad job in this game. Probably not one of his better games, though. Moving on. Uh, this is a replay from the Warcraft Olympics, WCO. Great league, a lot of fun, I run it. Uh, we're not going to really talk too much about that, but... Um, basically, NST won this war against VT. This was the deciding match. Alright, what I want to talk to you first, before we start this replay up, is building buffers. This is a very easy thing to learn. It's going to take me about two seconds to tell you, but it's also very hard to master. With building buffers, first thing you need to know is that every base, every undead base, has a one space buffer around it, except for the Ziggurat and the Necropolis. And what I mean by one space buffer around it, when you build any building, basically, a Tomb of Relics, when you build a Tomb of Relics, it's going to come right in the package, have a one space buffer around, one space around that building. So you build it right next to a ziggurat, which has no spaces around it when you build it. There's going to be one space in between the two, even in, even if you put them right as close as you possibly can. There's still going to be one space in between. So, you, you know, it's a very important thing to do. Ziggurats are very important because they don't have any spaces around them. That's how the most important thing in the undead base building to block a base. The most important building. Now, the necropolis is two spaces around it. So, it's completely useless for blocking, because two spaces means a hero can get through. Two spaces, you need two spaces for a fiend to get through, for an abomination to get through, any medium, large size unit. They need at least two spaces to get through. One space, a ghoul can get through, an acolyte can get through, other small units can get through, archers, whatever. It's basically, we, we just want to stop a blade master from getting through. To stop a blade master from getting through, we need to make sure we've got only one space in between buildings surrounding our gold mine anyway. Even in Windwalk form, a Blade Master needs two spaces to get through. Remember that. So, what you make sure you gotta do is you don't want to have an altar next to a graveyard. Both of those buildings have that one space built around it. If you put them next to each other, you're gonna have two spaces combined. Blade Master's gonna walk right through and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Terrible undead. Whatever. So that's basically the most important thing to know. However, this is a pain in the ass thing to learn, to master. Easy to learn. Hard as hell to master because every single map, you gotta do something, you gotta do a build a different base. And even in some, some of the maps, you have to build a different base just for whichever position you get. Here in a stand, the top position, you can build a base pretty easy, actually. You build a really nice base, pretty easy, blocks off very simplistic. The other side, pain in the ass. Um, man, basically that's what it is. Basically you need to do something different for every map, so it's very hard and needs a little bit of practice. I suggest loading up a game against the computer on some of your favorite maps, trying a couple things out, messing around a little bit. It's really not as hard as it seems. Build a hero and try to see if you can get through in your gold mine. If your hero can get through, so can a blade master. If your hero can't, neither can a blade master. So that's what I suggest trying out. We're going to get this, this uh, replay started here. So in five seconds... Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
go. Alright, watch from Scott's view here. Scott's already got the Altar of Darkness up and his Ziggurat up. Two very important abilities. Keeping his Altar towards the front. That's alright. Basically what you gotta know... One thing you wanna make sure to do with any other building is... Keep your higher HP buildings towards the front of your base. And keep your lower HP buildings towards the back. Pretty obvious reason, higher HP buildings are better defense than your lower HP buildings, and you want to keep your lower HP buildings alive longer. Scott learns that the hard way in this replay, you're going to see that a little later. He's already started to block his base off a little bit. The Ziggurat's in the perfect position to block his base. He's going to put a Tomb of Relics up right now. Now, as you can see right here, the Tomb of Relics and the Ziggurat together are blocking. They've got that entire left side blocked off. Two more relics, per, as there's, actually there's no spaces between the two more relics and the trees except that one space buffer. There's one space between the ziggurat and the two of relics. They just built a graveyard. The graveyard's got itself blocked off between itself and the trees. All he's got is that little area to block off between the graveyard and the necropolis. Once he puts a ziggurat up in between that spot, it's going to be blocked, and its entire base is blocked from a Blade Master Harass. Congratulations, good job, you did it. Takes a little bit of pre-planning to do, as you see, when he put that great Ziggurat up, he knew right away what he was going to do, so you can't just half-ass everything. If you half-ass everything, you're probably going to screw things up somehow. So you got to know what you're doing. Um, Scott's actually going to do a very different base build, uh, He's actually going for a fast tech. Which means he's not going to actually put this second zero, zero up for a long time. It's going to be until he starts tier 2 until he puts that up. But what he's doing is he's going to start harassing with his death knight. The reason for this is he wants to stop the orc from creeping a little bit. He wants to stop the orc from creeping a little bit. He also wants to stop the orc from running into his base and killing him while he's weak. The orc is incredibly weak right now, and you gotta gotta remember that. Scott just started his tech, and right now he's looking around for the orc. This is actually a rather hard thing to do, to harass and base build at the same time. You gotta make sure you you, you can do this before you actually you know try to do this. If you just don't, if your macro is just not good enough to do this, I suggest just, you know walking around and creeping creeping up instead of harassing. 